What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel for another round of uh, training day. Uh, today we're here at the Bellevue Police Department's uh, firearms range for vehicle CQB. If you guys don't know what CQB is, it's close quarter battle. Uh, essentially, uh, what the premise of today is we're just going to be learning how to fight battles around vehicles and transition from uh, like a rifle to uh, to your handgun and different kinds of drills. So we're going to talk to Sergeant Stuck. Uh, he's going to kind of go over the course and he's kind of the mastermind along with a couple other officers uh, of this course for this year's, uh, for this month's training, I should say. Um, so should be pretty fun. If we get a chance, we'll uh, we'll get up there and talk to a couple of officers. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. If you don't remember Sergeant Stuck, uh, you can go back and watch vlog number nine, the patrol rifle, course, patrol rifle course for last year. He was the instructor on that. And um, so this year's course or this month's training uh, is based on vehicle CQB. Would you say primarily? Yes. Okay. Could you just go through and just explain to us kind of what the officers are doing here today and what we're going to see them do? Uh, a lot of officer involved shootings happen in and around vehicles. About 49% is what we saw in the percentages. Uh, Bellevue Police Department, we're not any different. We're actually just a little bit higher. Um, whether it's an officer shooting from inside the vehicle, outside the vehicle, around the vehicle, using the vehicle as cover, um, we want to make sure we train up on, on what happens inside of the vehicle. Uh, we start off the day with going with starting off with our rifles, our patrol rifles, learning how to transition from the rifles to our pistols. So we make sure at any time during the training today that if our rifle does go down, we're able to transfer to our pistol because that's our, definitely our primary weapon. Uh, military is usually a little bit different. They start off with their, their rifle as their primary weapon, but law enforcement, you know, we carry our pistols every which, where we go. So our primary weapon has become our, our pistols. Um, then we go on after we get a little bit of touching up on that and point shooting with the officers going through some of the flat range stuff and some targets. Then we start working in from shooting from inside the vehicle. Uh, we uh, inform the officers and kind of demonstrate to them on how to exit the vehicle um, and be able to shoot from inside the vehicle and what happens to the trajectory of the bullet once we shoot from inside the vehicle to out on a target. Uh, so we demonstrate that. We also demonstrate around the vehicle what are the points of cover around the vehicle. Um, there's not just one point of cover on the vehicle. We kind of show that since the vehicle is uh, designed to absorb energy upon impact, well, a bullet is mass and energy transferring. So we kind of show them on different points of the vehicle where they can stand. We also kind of demonstrate to them on what the glass does when a bullet comes into, through, and it's a temporary type of cover for the officer. Um, you can get on YouTube and see any type of uh, officer involved shooting where the officer and, and, and the assailant uh, trying to kill the officer is attempting to come after the officer and shoot at the officer around the vehicle. We kind of shoot, uh, show the officers how to use the vehicle as cover, what points and how to move. Um, once we get through shooting from inside the vehicle and how to get out of the vehicle, then we'll start going through the day on a different positions throughout the vehicle once we've demonstrated what the bullets do to the vehicle. I mean, we'll shoot from anything from rifles to pistol and we've actually even shot sniper rounds in different parts of the vehicle and show what those rounds will do um, throughout that vehicle. Once we get going around the vehicle, we'll show different types of positions, whether it's kneeling, supine prone, shrimping, um, and a uh, certain type of squats around the vehicle to be able to shoot downrange at a target, um, still being provided cover by the vehicle. Um, once we get through that uh, demonstration or that portion, we'll actually do it live with the officers going around the vehicle. We start off pretty static, making sure the officers are safe, they don't muzzle or flag any parts of their body. Once we get through that, then we'll give them a uh, live rounds, we'll put targets on the other side, and we will put a, a, either a number or a letter, or we actually put both up on the targets, and then we call out a number or a letter that they have to shoot while they're manipulating up and down the vehicle uh, and hitting that target. Once we're finished with that today and get through all that, um, once we're satisfied with there, because we don't like to move on if somebody still has problems or issues with, with this type of, uh, uh, they're being able to demonstrate and be able to do that proficiently. Then we'll move on to force on force. We're actually gonna give the police officers a mask 
Um, I make them take off their police vest to get a little bit of pain involved and a little bit more stre stress inoculation involved. It hurts, it hurts. Absolutely, you'll see a couple marks. <laughs> Hopefully get some pictures at the end of the day and, oh, yeah. and show you some pictures of some of it. But it's for learning, it's not for fun or it's not to punish anybody. It's just a learning tool with the people to, to demonstrate and know um, where they need to go and how to use the cover. And the force on force simulations, we'll put them up around the vehicle. We're basically going to have an uh, officer on officer go around the vehicle, shoot at each other uh, to end up the day. Yeah. And uh, I went through this a few days ago, so I can attest to it. It's next level training. I don't think there's really anybody, in, at least not in our area, that's doing this at all. Um, so huge thanks to Sergeant Stuck and the rest of the other instructors for going out and seeking good training and bringing it to the department. So once again, thanks, man. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate so, and uh, we'll go see what's going on. Let's go. Okay. So we cool. don't get caught on something. Have me. So next we're going to roll into uh, force on force. So the officers are going to be armed with a uh, simunition gun, which has simunition rounds. And they're basically going to put everything they learned together um, together in a um, short little battle, I guess. Uh, one officer against another. They'll start a certain distance away from the vehicle. When uh, Sergeant Stuck uh, says go, they'll go to the vehicle and they'll battle it out around the vehicle. And we'll see who actually comes out ahead. Let's go see that and uh, watch him get lit up.
All right, you guys, appreciate uh, you guys watching this video today. Um, like I said, it's it's some of the best training I've ever been to here at the Bellevue Police Department. So a uh, huge shout out to Sergeant Stuck, Detective Simonese, uh, Officer Hargis, and all the other folks that uh, took the time and effort to go to training and bring this training back to our department. As always, you guys know the drill. Make sure you like, share, uh, subscribe to the channel, and go check out vlog number nine for the patrol rifle course that Sergeant Stuck was in. I'll link it some someplace up here. Uh, so, all right, appreciate you guys.